Hello everyone, I'm Eli. Do you have the noodle jamming problem during the printing process? Today, in this video, I will show you how to deal with such problems on an Ender 3 Pro 3D printer. Now, let's take a look. Cleaning out a jammed nozzle. Firstly, on the screen menu, set up the nozzle temperature to 240 degree. Waiting for the nozzle temperature to 240 degree and pull out the filament. Then carefully use the needle to insert and clean the impurities in the nozzle. Finally, manually fit a new filament until it can be extruded normally as displayed in the video. Replacing a nozzle Firstly, heat up the nozzle temperature to 240 degree, then pull out the filament. Secondly, remove the two screws and the fan cover. Then use a scissor to remove the silicone cover. Please be gentle and not scratch the silicone sleeve. Now, we use a small wrench to remove the nozzle. Be very careful or burns. Then, fit the filament manually and clean all impurities in the tubing. Next, replace a new nozzle and use the same wrench to tighten it. Be careful or burns. Now, we fit in the filament and it should be extruded normally. Wait for the nozzle to cool down completely, then gently put the silicone sleeve back. Finally, we install the fan cover and tighten the screws. Cleaning up the throat and the tube. Firstly, like before, we have to heat up the nozzle temperature to 240 degree and then pull out the filament. Also, we have to remove the two screws on the fan cover. Next, we use a small wrench to remove the nozzle. Be careful of burns. Here, we use a plier to cut off the zip tie on the tube. Next, remove the blue buckle from the large pneumatic fitting and use a large wrench to loosen it. Then, you can pull out the tube. Now, we push the tube into the throat. It should squeeze out and clean the impurities in the throat. We can change to a new Teflon tube or use a blade to cut off the damaged part. Remember, the cutting face must be flat. Now, we can put back the nozzle and tighten it. Install the large pneumatic fitting and tighten it with a wrench. Roughly measure the length of the tube and insert it into the throat. The tube must be pushed down to the bottom to prevent any leakage during the printing process. Wait for the nozzle to cool down completely, then gently install the silicone sleeve. Install the fan cover and tighten the screws. Fit in the filament manually. You should see smooth and continuous material coming out from the nozzle. Okay guys, after watching our video, you will find it's very easy to clean out the jammed nozzle. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below and we will answer it for you. If you like our videos, you can click the subscribe button below and we will bring more high quality videos for you. At the end, we wish you have a happy life. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.